Good morning, Smith Station. I'm Jacob Prather, and this is the latest episode of PNN. Hey, If you're interested in being an athletic trainer, you can pick up an application from Mrs. Riggs, and they're all due by April 10th. Juniors, remember, the ACT will be taking place on April 28th, and the demographics on April 22nd. Please attend this if at all possible. If you're interested in being a Pantherette next year, the Pantherette meeting will be taking place in the lunchroom on April 16th at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. You must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. Don't forget to stop by Mrs. D. Bird's room to get a dress for prom. They're at a good price, so be sure to get those. Seniors, please pay your dues of $100 in by today. You cannot be clear for graduation unless you pay them. So get those paid in by today, please. And last but not least, Mrs. Stedeclue is still selling buttons. So be sure to get some of these outstanding and marvelous buttons for a great price. Here's Madison Dixon with your weekend weather. Tomorrow, your highs will be in the 80s and your low will be 52. On Saturday, the temperature will decrease to the 60s and your low will be in the 40s. On Sunday, the temperature will rise back up to the 70s, but your hello will be 52. This has been Madison Dixon with your weekend weather. Are you wondering what the school is like during spring break? Here's Glenville Challenger with more. <laughs> Here's Megan and Kendall with some really bad excuses. The reason I didn't turn in my homework would happen to be because I was driving down the side of the road and there was a man that needed a ride and I gave him the ride and my truck happened to break down at the location that I left him at and whenever it did that I had to call somebody so I had to use his phone so I went inside of his house and I believe that his daughter probably stole my book bag so I sent like my mom on the quest of finding my book bag but she couldn't find it, so I obviously couldn't get my homework to you. I'm sorry. The reason why I did not do my homework is because Coach Davis technically did not assign homework. He told us to do it, but I still didn't do it. It's all right. Because I got better things to do in my life. The hot girl that I copy off of every morning wasn't here. The reason I didn't do my homework was because money's more important to me. I was working. Excuse or no excuse, you're going to get a zero, so do your homework. This has been Megan Gaynes and Kendall Harris, PNN. Here's Jared Brew with your invention showcase of this week. Music is a great pastime, but buying all the instruments that you want to play can be very expensive. Introducing the Artiphone. The Artiphone is the first electronic instrument that can be strummed like a guitar, played like a piano, or plucked like a bass. The Artiphone can be played as 16 different instruments and is controlled and connected by a smartphone app. From your smartphone or tablet, you can record, tune, mix, and share your music. The Artiphone has built-in speakers for those who want to share their music with their friends and family, but can also have a private session by plugging in headphones. The Artiphone is already fully funded on Kickstarter.com and is set to release nationwide during the summer. I'm Buck Jordan, here with my lovely assistant, Jacob Prather. 
Now, I've noticed a lot of guys at Smith Station don't know how to tie a bow tie. And honestly, nothing makes me more annoyed than seeing someone with a fake or clip-on bow tie. So today, I'd like to teach you all how to tie a real bow tie. Now, the first step to tying a bow tie is getting one side about equal to the crease of the other. Now, it doesn't matter which side, I just prefer the left. So, the first thing you want to do is cross the longer side over the shorter and bring it back under. Once you pull it about as tight as you would like the tie to go, you drape the longer side back over your shoulder. Then you fold the side that's still down back over itself and you start to get the shape of a bow tie. Once you take the part that was over your shoulder, you just fold it down and bring it back up. And here's the trickier part. There's a hole right back here. You bring one folded edge back behind the other folded edge and just push it through. And there it is. Bravo! And he's tying it. It's getting very close to the end part here. You might make it in time. 10 out of 10 would tie again. Here's a Laura and Jessica with some dub smash videos made by Smith Station students. I found out my birthday is the same day as the day I was born. Life is crazy. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey! I'm ready to party with the best of them. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Because I'm a lady, that's why. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes. Oh yeah, you can find them at the market. We talking about flea market. Get off my grandmama's carpet! She don't like nobody on the carpet, especially police! I wish I had an extra finger, then I can grab my cheese ball. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I had a chance to catch up with some of the students from Mr. Robinson's class. Here's one of the commercials. Why blow up the world when you can blow some Courtney Sanye and Kim Best with some tips for prom. Here's five tips on how to make your prom night the best. Tip number one, make sure there is no drama at all. Tip number two, pick her up in a nice limo to make it really special. Tip number three, make sure you're not rushing at all so you look your very best. Tip number four, don't be afraid to get on the dance floor and have some fun. And tip number five, Make sure you have the best prom night of your life. This has been Kimberly Best and Courtney Sanye, PNN. Well, that's all we got for your next station. I know I'm not Kerrigan Ben Cooley, but I'm Jacob Prather. You've been watching PNN. See you tomorrow.